You booked the hotels, you booked the flights, you made sure that you put that outfit together just right, and you made your way to this event. Look at Let's who's go. inside of the ring, everybody. Let's go. Hello and welcome to the Car Guy Coffee Podcast, the NADA sessions. We are excited to share these incredible brews with you, and they have been brought to you by our friends at VinQ, Fixed Ops Digital, 321 Ignition, Shop Smart Autos. If you want more information or want to know how to sponsor the brew, go to carguycoffee.com. Let's brew! It's Lou Ramirez, the car guy. And it's Felon Arts, the subprime hero. And the one, the only, Adam Marburger! That's right. Adam Marburger is a 40 under 40 automotive views, a recipient. He was a couple years ago, and he's getting to that age where he can't get that award anymore. So that's pretty awesome to see. He's getting up there, brother. But Unfortunately. Right. It's fun to watch you grow. It's fun to watch you ascend to the top, man. And... Being a friend of yours and doing business with you over the years has been a lot of fun to watch you do what you do. You're extremely gifted in the finance office, but more importantly, you're really gifted in the world. You help a lot of people. I know you do it between your business, helping dealerships and their f &I departments go to the top, but you also do it with your community, showing them ways to have confidence with martial arts, jujitsu, learning how to do kickboxing. You do amazing things. And brother, I love watching you do things with your daughters. You're amazing with them. You're a father. This is a girl dad all day long. Hashtag girl dad, and he loves his little babies. So, man, proud of you, bro. Proud to see where you've gone and where you're going. And we've seen you jump and take that leap of faith and look where it's at, man. Was it worth it or not? You know what I mean? Absolutely it was. What's up, Adam? How you doing today? I'm doing really good. Uh, I'm Jack. You guys, uh, I have a lot of energy typically, but you guys just brought that up a notch. So I've been friends with you guys a long time. I love you both. Uh, feelings mutual, my friends. Uh, you guys are rocking it. And here, birds of a feather. Locked together. together, that's right. And you know, it's so funny, it's it's so true because I've seen what he's done and it's something that inspired me. I've taken things that he's done from what he how he sells, how he pitches to what into what I do. It's part of my arsenal. It's one of the piece of ammo that I have to shoot out when I'm dealing with a customer or somebody that needs help, assistance, and getting what they really need, right? And that's what it's about. You show them how it works in their life in real time, and you're very proficient at it. And it's also what you do in your real life, man. And it's it's impressive to see. And I know Lou, you know, we've had the opportunity to work together with you. Um, Lou, what was your experiences like with him when you were over at the dealership? One, somebody that walked in complete confidence of the role that he was in and that he could get something done for somebody. So you looking in the face of a customer and making sure, listen, I know what you need. I know how to help you get it. Also know how to help you understand why you need to get it and why this is kind of a no brainer. And also why it's a privilege that you get to do it with me. And that's something that you also transition into everything else that you do. And it's just permeating and we love it. But my first experience was actually coming to your store. I got to come rock an event, outsold the whole floor, had a blast, had a great time, and got to be brought to your home to eat some pizza right yeah. on a cheat day. Huh? Eat some pizza <laughs> on a cheat day. And that's my favorite meal. So automatically we're brothers as soon as we're breaking bread, breaking that pizza up. We're feeling good, but we got to enjoy some stuff. You got to hang out with us at the hotel a little bit. We got to just jive with you and find out who you were behind the desk. Okay. And that's ultimately what we value most in this industry, what we value most about our relationships with partners and customers. We value connecting with other solutionaries that we're running with. And now you're doing that. You're building up a business that's finding other people to take them to that next level. What is it like now pulling in the team that you're pulling in? It's amazing. And here... At the end of the day, it's about serving people. I learned in the f &I office, if you serve before you try to sell, you will Amen. sell at a much higher rate and it's much more profitable. Say so that one more time. You serve. One more, time. one more game. If you serve before you sell, you will sell much more and it will be much more profitable. So, amen. Yeah, we put servant leadership in the f &I space. I do things a little bit differently. Our stores, our f &I people, we don't sit in the f &I office. We get on the showroom floor. We're helping the sales managers. We're TOing deals. We're calling customers for our salespeople. We are working with our desk hand and glove. We serve our customer. We serve our back office that supports us. We serve our service department. And most importantly, Thanks. we serve the retail consumer so they come back over and over and over again. That's what we do. That's what you want. That repeat, that repeat. It makes it so much easier. But you have to maintain those people. You have to have service 
and really know the process of how to do those things. And you do a great job with that. There's no doubt. Great news, dealers. The ShopSmart Autos dealer directory has a special offer for you. We are excited to partner together to give the consumer everything they need to know before they select a bin specific car from the dealer inventory with no cost to the consumer and no cost to the dealer, making the consumer happy and the dealer even happier. There's no catch. Shop Smart Autos is a digital directory platform that consumers love. Dealers who register through Car Guy Coffee get 25 VIN specific leads per month and a 90 day free trial of Mobile X. After that trial, you won't ever pay high prices for vehicle history again. Go to Shop Smart Autos for dealers.com slash car guy coffee. Go get your leads. Now you're bringing everything together and that's what it's about. It's gluing everyone together to work together for one mission. And that's to service our clients, to give them what they need and what they want. Transparency, honesty, but really understanding, empathy, being able to sit there and relate by telling stories and telling them ways that you've seen it work for others and how it can make them feel if they don't take it right. And that's, that's key. And I love that you're, you're very great at those kind of things, but you're most importantly, you really care about your people you're dealing with your dealers. I know right now, as you've been growing, you've been growing your agency. I've seen the faces and the people that you're touching now. And it's beautiful because a lot of those are people that I'm great friends with too, like Matt Gronke. I love him. We connected right, with him. Finally, years ago. Met Matt finally got to meet him the other day. And I know it's somebody that you're dear with too. And he's somebody that absolutely adores what you're doing. and just thinks it's great that you're growing the way you are. And he obviously, is on board with you but um you know to be able to do that through legacy and through growth man how many people i know for you you've had some mentors and i want to get into that really quick i know that there's been a few you've had Craig Schmidt and you had multiple being a mentor and having mentors are two different things as you're now that you're becoming mentors to others how's that been feeling for you to be the opposite instead of being the guy who's looking for the source not that you still don't do that i know you do but what is it like giving mentorship to others now so it comes off as a little selfish at some level you know, when you're serving people and you're helping people and you're mentoring others, the feeling that you get, the joy that you get, there's a little selfishness in that, right? Heck yeah. So, but it feels good. And I believe it's the right thing. I had guys and gals that took me to the next level that believed in me, even when I didn't believe in myself. And so basically my life every single day is to help everyone around me get just a little bit better. That's what That's I did. And so I love helping people. I've got other agents that do what I do, we're great friends. Like I, I don't, there's enough business for all of us to have. And so Amen. I embrace the enough competition. Business. I love on my competition. I build relationships with people and I'm here to serve. That's what we do. That is exactly what we do. And that's a blessing to be able to do that. And I, I agree. Now there's competition, but it's not really, competition's fun. You have to love your competition. As a solutionary, man, you just, you're right there. You are a solutionary all day long. I certify you as the solutionary all day. He is 100% CGC approved. 100% CGC approved, this guy. But you lead everything with love. And when you do that, even with your competition, it's not that hatred. It's more of that, hey, I love what you're doing over there. I can learn something from you. And I guarantee you can give it back. Everything's a two-way street in life. And when you, when you understand that it's not just giving, but you will get back, even if it's not from them, you'll get back something from that. And I love that. And uh, to me, it's special. And I know that you're doing that for so many people right now. And you're right. You know, I know there's Michael Offman. He's with the company that I absolutely love. Right? Love him. He's right. my brother. And you guys have become really close. Michael. And that's a direct comp competitor, but you guys are being really close. And I and it's really neat to see that relationship mature. And, and you can see that happening amongst so many different companies right now in this industry. Because this industry is great. Automotive is something that we all... We all really need to just hold on to and understand that this is a beautiful thing. So if there's that much opportunity, don't be the one who doesn't educate yourself like I see you do and reading books and telling people to do the same thing. That's what successful people do. But reading books is great. But let's talk about writing books. Let's talk about what Adam's doing right now as he's trying to mentor and tell people his story. Adam, congratulations on your first book. I'm proud Thanks. of you, bro. You that's something that's a big deal. You're going to be a published author. He's going to be dropping that out. I want you to all reach out to Adam. Make sure you get that book because he's going to be killing it. That's going to be one of many, I'm sure, because he has some great stories. Tell us a little bit about that book. What inspired you to write it? So this book was a project over the last three years that I set the goal in the year 2000 to complete it. I failed miserably. I didn't, I didn't complete the book. So, uh, so I did. I started the book. I just, I, you know, I had a couple chapters that were written. Uh, 2021, I said, this book will be complete. Uh, so it was 
it was about 80% done. So I told myself in January, hey, Adam, I had a little conversation with myself. Hey, Adam, get out of your own way. You Amen. are the problem. You've always been the problem. Let's get to work. So I finished it. It's done. It's ready to rock. I love what you said that before you came here. You love your office, but it's about the people. Right. It's about going out and meeting people. And that's what you were excited about being here. This NADA event has been great. Now we're talking about your book. And I want everybody to be able to reach out. So how are they going to be able to get your book? Just reach out to me on Facebook. Now, that's the best way to social media. Pretty easy to find. So you just find me on social. Connect with right. me there. Amazon. Amazon. You can get it on there. Make sure you guys get that book. But, you know, being at NADA, there's a lot of people that are, like, amazing. And as you've been going around and seeing these different vendors and different booths and being able to have an opportunity to shake hands with some amazing people, have dinner with them. I know you were at the Cosmo the other night. You had an invitation. We came in a little late. I would have loved to have been there. Um, it looked like you had a great time. But what has been the experience here for you that you're going to take back that's going to help you elevate your game? Well, for, for me, really, it's the last NADA, Valentine's Day weekend, right after that, the world shut down, right? Oh, the, yeah. the world shut down. Literally right after. So for me, my, my biggest thing is hugging the people that I love and, and spending Amen. time with the people that I truly care about. Yeah, I have strategic meetings in place with my current partners and providers. I got to uh, have some intimacy at dinner and, and really share, share some, break some bread, have some wine. Uh, a little too much wine <laughs> on Thursday. <laughs> right? it, was, it was accidental. <laughs> uh, but really, it's just seeing everybody, it's spending some time. You know, and I'm just it's, I'm thankful to see so many people here, too. So that really it's reconnecting with the relationships that we need. It's great being on social. That we talk on the phone. You know, we, we see each other every day on social, but it's not the same sitting next to y'all, right? No, I, mean, I love being right So this is my, my, my favorite thing is reconnecting with the people that I love and making new connections and new relationships. Like for me, you know, yeah, I'm on the vendor side, but I'm not here selling anything to anyone. I haven't pitched a single person. I haven't, well, I'm here to just meet people, shake hands and spend time. You know, and that's what I'm talking about. You know, you're at the right booth for that. This is the Poly booth. Poly. And as you can see, Poly. they got coffee here till two o'clock. And after two o'clock, it's free beverages. I mean, the kind that, you know, are a little bit harder than the regular Adult beverages, right? Adult. You can have a great time. They're, they're bringing people together. This place is about insurance policies. And man, they get they even have all the insurance companies in here together, working together. So it's unique, much like you're talking about uniting and being cool and raising up and, and encouraging other companies much like yours. They're doing the same thing inside of here right now. These are people movers. To, they get people together. And I love that. They brought us up here to bring people like you on the stage so we can share about ascending to the top, being the best versions of ourselves, helping others be encouraged to do the same thing. And I've seen you do it so much with your mentors. I mean, beyond what you probably even know, we all, you know, we don't even realize who we're helping and affecting. And social media is a great way to do so. Everything that you've been doing to make the connections that you, of course, value the real connections of people, which is what we really all value most is to not have to have a barrier between the connection that we can have. You're right here. I want to hug. We want to talk about making things better. We get better when we get together. But your business wouldn't be where your business is if you didn't activate that go mode in social. So what would you say about the importance of looking at getting your best game on and building that social muscle up? What would you say to somebody that's trying to do what you're doing or get their business underway or has had a business that's established? Why is it so important that that muscle starts getting some attention? So I'm glad you brought that up because we had some pretty deep conversations at dinner last night, even a couple yesterday with Callie Snow, but we talked about social and the impact. Well, hey dealers, Car Guy Coffee Podcast and the Certified Solutionaries are honored to be a part of Team VinQ. The solutions they've been brewing to help dealers acquire more vehicles, merchandise and advertise those vehicles, has made them one of the most sought after dealer partners in the market. They are 100% CGC approved. And when you go to visit them at VinQ.com, you'll see a whole hill of beans worth of reasons why. Team VinQ, let's brew! I built pretty much every business from my martial arts promotion companies to the travel agencies to my jiu-jitsu academy, to my insurance real estate company. Everything I've done, I've built it on social media. Ascent Dealer Services, 90% of the deals that we have are because of social media. So what I tell people, and this is what I've learned, and I've talked to hundreds of people over the last 24 hours because of social. People that have seen me, know me, follow me, we win. I'm getting to meet people in person. So for those that aren't using social, for what you do today, what you post today may not pay you today. 
but it will pay you tomorrow and it will pay you 10x. Yes. So I challenge 10X. people to embrace their personal brand, believe in themselves, don't overthink it because we, we're the problem. We get in our own way sometimes. How do I look? Do I look stupid? Do I sound stupid? Am I saying the right things? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's so true. It does because not. Because it's about going to, I'm going to double down on whatever. So I post quite often. I put some good content out there. I feel uh, I'm going to double down. We love it. We love it. I'm going to double down. I'm going to do more and more and more and more and more. And I'm going to embrace the hate as it comes because it's there. And it's but there's not. there's way much more positivity. Right, right. Than I know her because of social media. I know how much you love that young lady right there. Yeah. I know that. And I know how special she is to you. You were always doing big things when I first met you. You impressed me from the rip. You were doing I mean, You were promoting. We went to your... You were freaking MMA fight, man, and you, you promoted it. You were there. You were the big guy and the soup guy. You know what I mean? Like that was amazing to watch and to see what you've done. There was no doubt in my mind the day I met you. Then I was like, this dude's doing big things, and this is just the beginning, big bro. Just the beginning, and just I know that started. it's just yeah. getting started. So watch out for Adam Marburger. Watch out for everything that's coming up, man. I promise you, you guys are gonna miss something if you're not keeping your eyes open because he's gonna do something that's gonna blow your mind, and I love it. I appreciate that. You know, I, I, I do. And feelings are mutual. You know, here, you guys, we've been friends for a long time. That's why when we hug each other, like, dude, I just—it's like I saw you last week. Right. Like exactly. I saw you last week. And so yeah, and I use the word a lot. Uh, progression. I, I don't. I really don't do things for money. I, I don't do things for ego pride. I do things for progression. I like to progress every day. And the people that I'm around, I just want them to get a little bit better. That's the key. Just a little bit better every single day. That's the mindset every single day. Period. Each and every one of you need to do yourself a favor and tag a car guy, tag a car gal, tag and share this around. Make sure that you get this to oh. your friends, to your pals, to all those that you actually want to be brewing something good. Listen, Adam isn't just a person that builds great relationships with the people that he works with. No. He doesn't just build a great relationship with the people that he does business with or the actual connection point in business no you actually want to connect to the community too and it's beyond the business for you which is a, a true testament that you're not chasing the money you're chasing the opportunity to do the good work that is on your heart to do and i feel like there's so many people that get detached from understanding the deeper part of why they do what they do that they can even capture the persona that they have for putting a video out. And I think so often we get so to a point of we're trying to be somebody else. How important is it that people just release themselves from the entire worry of, do I have to be like somebody else? Or can I truly just capture me? And is that going to be good enough to bring my business up? What would you say to somebody that needs to kind of click that in of just be you as real as possible and it will be marketable to those that need to buy from you? I tell people to be unapologetic. We know you're loving the show so far. We just wanted to remind you about our partner, Fix Ops Digital, being Automotive's premier service marketing and technology company. They are not only proud to sponsor this show, but for you can be a dedicated point of contact for all your service marketing related needs. Servicing dealerships throughout the US and Canada, the mission is to create a better online experience for your service customer while using data intelligence to drive more fixed operations revenue. If you want to take your service marketing to the next level, visit them at www.fixedopsdigital.com. That's fixedopsdigital.com. Okay, okay, okay. Back to the show. Be Amen. who you are. Love yourself. Yes. Okay, because guess what? You blink an eye and a decade goes by, right? Yeah. And as we're, we're all three of us are similar in age, things in mean, here, the world, I look at the world a little bit differently now. So first things first, and I've got a story, but I, I'll go back to 2017. I had to forgive myself. I had to understand that I've got a past. We've all got a past. It doesn't define me. It's not who I am. It's who I was and who I was. It's not who I am today. And so when you can honestly love yourself, We've got to love ourselves, not in an egotistical standpoint, but we are a gift from God. We are hardwired for greatness. We were put on this earth Hell with is. purpose. It's just what it is, and I believe that. I know you do, and man. So when, That's when, why. And when, when you can honestly forgive yourself and start to love yourself, you can love others around you at a much higher capacity. You can be a better father. You can yes. be a better spouse. 
yes. a better in, uh, business partner. You can do more in the community. You can serve and save. You can help people. So that's really what it is. It's you've got to learn to serve yourself. And serving yourself comes in a couple different forms. There's physical, mental, emotional, spiritual. You've got to, you've got to check the box on these things. we got to take care of the physical. Glenn Lundy talks about this, right? The things you got to do in the morning. you got to get moving around. you got to, you got to commit to personal growth. It's one of these things that we can't just like go lukewarm and go half-ass our way into just trying to work on ourselves. Maybe we read a half a book and put it down and no, 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 no. We've got to, we've got to work on this. We've got to work on this. We've got to work on this a little bit, right? Right? So if we do those things, we can do so much more and somehow, some way, the bank account starts to reflect all that yeah, stuff. Just, and I, that's the way yeah. it works. It's, yeah, it's kind of cool. I mean, yes. it's kind of cool. Yes. It's, 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 it's kind of cool. It's, it's just blessing after oh. blessing, and that's the gift. It's abundance is there for us. You know, the thing about all that is, is that you have to put work behind it. And you know what? You work your ass off, bro. And yes. I know that, and I appreciate that. I, but you also enjoy your ass oh, yeah. off, right? Yes. You enjoy your life to the fullest. And that's what it's about. It's a yin and yang. It's a, it's a, you have to have balance in life. Work on all those things. You talked about working on all those things to grow. And it's true. All the things that we have to work on, they all have to be worked on. You can't just work on your money, then your physical is going to fall apart. You can't just work on your physical, then your money. So you have to do everything. Your, your relationships, all these things are so important. Having that balanced wheel of life, right? And to be able to grow and be exactly what we want, man. And I love that. I love that you're about that. I know that Adam is truly somebody that I will be a friend with for the rest of my life. We always stay connected. There's something about frequencies. And when you're on the same one with somebody, you know what's up. And Amen. I've known that since the moment I met him. We sat down and talked, and I was like, that's my dude here. And we've been dudes ever since. So, man, I love you, bro. I appreciate your time being on the show today. Hey, thank but you. before we get out of here, we got to forgive. You know we got to focus and we gotta fly. Oh. And we're going to let you run off and have some fun and get some more handshaking and meet some more friends today because I know that a lot of people want to see some Adam Marburger. So let's get it going. Forgive, focus, fly. That's right. So car guys and car gals and all those that are watching on the live stream and all those that are right here right now, if you got a couple of hands, maybe you could put your phone down for a minute. I'm going to teach you a dance move, and it's going to be the forgive, focus, fly so that you can keep growing. Now, this is just a mindset medicine for you to operate on. Our friend Adam Marburger is literally the ascent dealer services man using these techniques to forgive, focus, fly and keep growing growing so help us out online and if you're listening to this on the podcast just do one hand on it while you're driving here we go on three car guys and car gals join us as we forget focus fly nada 2022 one two three forgive focus, focus. fly and, and keep, keep growing keep growing the one right here everybody the, the only, only. Adam Marburger in Thank the you house. So Thank you for coming to the cafe today, brother. I yes. love you, brother. Man, Thank you for your time. Appreciate you guys coming, Jack. Uh, Everybody, we have some more shows coming so later. Much. Make sure that you go reach out to Adam Marburger on social because this dude is killing the game.